Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of Focusrite, Mr. Simon Lehman. Welcome. Welcome. Dear dreamers and travel industry leaders, one thing that connects us is that we love to travel and we enjoy what we do and we respect each other. That is a strong message and we should all embrace it for the better of our world. Tourism is more important than ever. It's a powerful peacekeeper and we all have a role to play. We are honored to have you here this week. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Amsterdam. Two percent. The European travel market grew only two percent in 2016 to 273 billion euro versus a whopping 18% 18% in the past year. Is it going to slow down? Do we need to worry about it? We don't think so. European travel market will grow until 2020 to 310 billion euro. The outlook for travel and tourism stays robust despite economic fragilities and political volatility, stronger growth in 2017 underpinned by an improving global economy. The lowest oil price in a decade has boosted demand through lower transport costs, while consumers have benefited from lower energy costs. But geopolitical events loom Global warming, threat of terrorism, migration crisis could all affect the traje trajectory of European travel. The good news is the growth in online travel transaction is outpacing the travel market. 2016, online have climbed to 135 billion, just under 15, 50%. It will approach 180 billion euro by 2020, which will be at 60% of all online book all bookings will be online. Who says that travel products are distributed in an old-fashioned way? Crazy. The matter of the fact is, Europe has the highest online penetration in the world. High fragmentation in hotels is a big advantage for the OTA market. By 2020, 33% of all online bookings will come from mobile. Well, today it is at 20%. So who will grab the chunk of that business? How will smaller suppliers and intermediaries compete? It will not get more friendly out there. The distribution of online booking between direct and indirect channels varies by segment. Low-cost carriers book 90% direct, and air supplier have an edge overall. 2016, 57% of all online air bookings came through supplier direct channels, compared with 43 for online travel agents. Due to the power of OTAs, this is nearly reversed when we're looking at the hotels. Suppliers in all segments are making significant efforts to attract more online bookings. Or in other words, new power distribution. What is new out there? The fact that Trump has won the US election as the new president? The fact that Philippe Macron won the elections in France? The fact that Google is getting bigger and better in the travel play? The fact that C-Trip is now a global player in online m and is, is it new that the market is being heavily consolidated? Europe has become a booking.com continent 
for hospitality? No, that is not new to you. We are confronted with that every day and are trying to think and innovate on how we can stay abreast of the challenges we face to get the power, tackle them, and continue innovation for distribution. But what is new, ladies and gentlemen? New is no frills is becoming standard and legacy carriers facing bigger challenges on a daily basis. New is that Air Berlin and TUI Fly are taking over Nikki for charter flights. Etihad and Lufthansa are becoming partners instead of fighting each other. New is globalization having to defend itself against rising nationalism. Who will win? New is in almost united Europe is shifting backwards in terms of national borders and fragmented legislation. New is that big data and CRM have been legacy and buzzwords at the same time, but it, it's artificial intelligence and voice recognition that will change the way we do distribution in the future. Vacation rentals is no more alternative lodging, and now one of the largest travel verticals out there, changing the hospitality landscape dramatically. The host is becoming a relevant part of the travel offer. We have not seen such a revolution since the rise of low-cost carriers. Therefore, even if con conversational or voice-driven, bot-supported search might be the next big thing, human capital remains key in the data-driven world. We certainly need a new generation of customer-centric hosts in all terms of travel without being dragged off an aircraft. Being new, it's not always easy to navigate, but what remains clear is that innovation fuel, fuels change and new things are incredibly powerful. Power? What is power? The world has seen transformative events lately which will force some very impactful events. Brexit seems to be irreparable. It will change the European travel industry. Can London survive as the unofficial capital of travel and tourism? Who has the political power? Is Trump's travel ban just a tiny disorientation in early days of a US president? Or in just, is it just the beginning of powerful and dramatic turbulence for the global travel industry? How about the European Union? There have been lots of discussions about the package travel directive and the neutral display policy. The EU has the power to make travel far more complex in the future. Will it have the power to reduce the dominance of Google and the large OTAs? The customer has the power of choice, and the industry has to have the power to design new holiday products to achieve customer-centric satisfaction. But what role will distribution play in the battles fought across the constant changing travel landscape? Distribution remains absolute key to our industry. The lines have become blurry, between Meta and OTAs, between tour operators and Google, between bed banks and redistributors. Sometimes there is something new, sometimes there is something innovative. But effective control of distribution will remain as one of the key success factors of our industry. Because in a global marketplace with such an array of languages, payment systems and devices, 
content distribution is the glue that keeps everything together. Do travel agents and tour operators have the creativity to stay in the center of customer demand within the leisure industry? Or are new intermediaries taking over? Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, they have the power to heavily disrupt travel going forward. Can only, the str the str can only strong and powerful survive? Is the dominance of Booking.com, Airbnb, and Expedia on launching the blueprint for other travel segments? What is the next big thing? Probably one of the creative travel startups growing stronger and more stable within the European travel community. Monopolies have never been sustainable, despite the fact that many have tried. The new customer will remain with the power and will shape the future of distribution. New power distribution lays bare the issues confronting European travel and tourism and outlines a roadmap for success in 2017 and beyond. Welcome to the fourth edition of Focus Right in the wonderful city of Amsterdam. During the next couple of days, we will share the ideas and answers many of the tough questions on how to confront the challenges our industry faces in an ever-changing world. We have gathered European travel leaders to share their wisdom, ideas and know-how with you. So that you leave inspired, refreshed and armed for the future new power distribution. Ladies and gentlemen, let the conversation begin. Thank you.